wouldn't have missed this for anything. If it was four feet of snow, he would have come. It's a super horse. This wasn't to be any walkover. Despite Secretariat's might, 11 horses were entered against him. There were some good ones from Canada. Presidial, Fabe Count, and Twice Lucky. And among the good American imports, there were Golden Dawn, Big Spruce, and Triangular. And of course, Canada's own horse of the year, Kennedy Road. Training a horse like Kennedy Road is like driving your first Cadillac limousine. Uh, it makes you a little nervous. You're afraid you might break it. He's proven himself to be one of the greatest horses ever produced in Canada. It's a great thrill to be able to get on a horse and ride a horse like this, let alone train him. When I was a kid, uh, I used to be so happy when I could ride a really good horse. There's a feeling you get that you can't explain to anybody. In my career, I, I think this is the biggest thrill for me so far, to be able to train a horse like this. Sunday, uh, we're hooking, uh, supposedly, the horse of the century. Kennedy Road, he's in good shape. We ran him last Sunday, broke the Canadian record. Gomez, uh, he's the ideal rider for this horse uh, because of his natural uh, ability to judge time. Secretary got beat two or three times already. Hitler got beat in the Second War. I don't, why, I don't see why he don't get beat. So my chances is very big. I rode him last time. I really got impressed with him. And to me, it's between Secretary and me. Secretary show up in Toronto. is very, very big help for races in Canada. Even if he get beat by me. This horse, when he comes out of that gate, this one, he's just going to burst into the legit go. That's what he said. That's what he knows how to. That's the way he runs best. That's the way we're going to do it. And uh, I'm hoping it's a good, hard, fast racetrack, and they'll have to beat the record to beat him. Top of the day. Good horse. You better grab his pictures because he wins. It'll be the upset of the century. It was admittedly a day of very mixed emotions for one little man. Canadian-born jockey Ron Turcotte. It's like coming home with your own hero. You know, like uh, he carried me to so many. Uh, notable races, and now he come home and I can't ride him. I think it's very unfortunate. I hope this jockey does just as well. Ronnie played a big part. I think Ronnie was very good. He come up every morning and he worked hard with me. He worked the horse mostly all the time. Uh, and he's, I think that Ronnie Turcotte today is probably the best rider in the United States. We try to work together, and he asked me different things about the horse, different feelings when I work him and then he adjusts the situation the way you think it should be, and we've been a great combination, I think. It's been an incredible experience and uh, satisfaction I have an opportunity to work with a horse like that. He moved so good and so free, and when he runs, he, he runs so fast, you don't really realize how fast he goes because it, it's, uh, he's, he's got so much power and he's got the speed and everything. Like, uh, I don't think no jaw can get on him and s say the time that he went in. I know I can't come, come down to the time because he, he does everything so easy. Uh, it's like piloting a jet, I guess. He just pushes the accelerator and he goes on. I don't think the bad condition will affect the horse at all because he's always impressed me like he would run even on broken bottles. I'm very grateful to have had Secretariat in our lives. Uh, my father spent 30 years in racing and developing his broodmare band, and to have something like this come out of your own breeding is a tremendous thrill. And great sense of accomplishment. He's so good looking, he captures the imagination of not only the race fan, but the children. The children are crazy about this horse. I want to see Secretariat race. I think Secretariat's a great horse. I think he's so wonderful and so exciting, and, and he's brought families out to the racetrack, and our mail is full of love and enthusiasm, and I hope that all of this lasts and, and inures to the benefit of of racing. He has sort of started a resurgence of interest in racing. The average fan was getting older. We weren't getting people out to the racetrack. With all the youngsters that have fallen in love with this horse, if a third of them make their boyfriends take them to the racetrack when they're 18, the Secretariat will have achieved more than just his race record, more than his money won, and, and more than the number of times you've seen Mrs. Tweedy on television. I found her to be one of the most gracious and charming women I've ever met. I don't know of anyone who would, could have been more cooperative than she was in every phase uh, leading up to the race. I'm delighted that people are glad he's come and are enjoying having him here and seeing as much as we're going to be able to this afternoon. It's 
bad luck that the weather is not pleasanter, but racing is a matter of luck with the elements, and you can't control these things, so we just have to accept the fact that it's a bad day. The people who really are enthusiastic are here, cold and wet anyway. loves to run and this should be communicated to the world that this is a vital sport it's an exciting sport and it's not an exploitation of horses that there are horses like secretariat who are sound and able and think running is thrilling he knows when he wins he knows when people notice him um, it's been a good experience for him too there was an added bonus for racing fans the world's most successful lady jockey, Robin Smith, came from New York to ride triangular in the big race. I decided to be a jockey because I love to ride horses. I love to ride horses fast, and I like competition. And it just seemed like that's what I was born to do. I wanted to be a jockey from the time I, can, I was two or three years old. The only hard time in this business for me is getting an opportunity to ride good mounts, which I attribute to the fact that I'm a girl. They still believe that a girl is not as strong as a male jockey, which is true, but uh, I don't think that that extra strength that men have over women, in the riding profession at least, uh, makes a difference. I think it's finesse and communication with your animal. It's fantastic. I'm glad to see a female jockey getting in the race. I think she has a real good chance. Not bad looking either. <laughs> I don't really have any goal in this business other than just riding five or six races a day because it's the only thing that makes me happy. I don't want her to win. I want uh, twice lucky. Number nine is Presidio, written by North America's leading rider, Sandy Holly. Presidio is a good contender. The secretary is the horse to beat, but we'll be out there to beat him. Number four is Big Scripps. Well, I think Secretary is going to go all the way. He went by a, a mile. He's unbelievable. I hope Secretary will win. I just hope he wins today because it's his last race. Well, obviously, he's going to win. What else? He's one of the greatest horses that I've ever seen in my racing time. I've been to quite a few races. If he run like he did the last time, I don't think it'd be no contest. Everyone is a big one, especially this one. Probably the biggest of all, because that's his last one, and I certainly hate to see him get beat. I'd like to send him home a big winner. The easiest race on paper is the one I find we lose. I cannot pinpoint who I think might beat us, but I certainly worry about today's race because it does look as if we ought to have a good shot at winning it. So I have to worry. They're at the post. We're just gonna burst out of the gate and the eyes are just gonna be out of this horse's head this high and he's gone. Like the wild man from Borneo, he's gone. Here on, Kennedy Road comes away quickly on the outside to take the lead. And that is Secretariat now rushing up on the extreme outside to go into contention. As they swing into the far turn, Kennedy Road has the lead by a length and a half. Secretariat is second with Presidio coming on third. Babe Count is fourth along the inside. And now they're midway of the turn as Kennedy Road leads by about two and a half with Secretariat running along second, a gap of seven or eight lengths with Presidio third. And coming into the stretch for the first time, they cross over the main track, and it is Kennedy Road on top, and here comes Secretariat on the outside. Kennedy Road leads by two and a half lengths. Secretariat is second with Presidio running along third as Price Lucky moves up fourth. Dave Count is fifth. They get the half in 47 and two, and the six furlongs in 111 and three. It is Kennedy Road on top by a length and a half. Secretariat is second on the outside. Price Lucky is now third with Presidio fourth. Triangular coming on fifth on the outside. They count is sixth down the back stretch. Kennedy Road has the lead. Secretariat closing up alongside. Kennedy Road by a half a length. Secretariat is right there with him. A gap of seven lengths. Price Lucky third. Presidio fourth. Side, and there he goes, there he goes, Secretariat on the outside, heading around the turn, Secretariat has the lead, Kennedy Road is second, Price Lucky is third, Presidio is fourth, it is all, Secretariat is coming to the head of the stretch, and now in front by about six lengths with Kennedy Road second, the crowd is dead, and they're cheering because this is his last week, the crowd is back to the 
In the tradition of champions, Secretariat climaxed his career with a smashing triumph. It was an unforgettable moment. That great crowd thundering acclaim as Secretariat smashed his way across the finish line in the final race of his career. What more fitting climax could there have been for the most brilliant and successful season in the long history of Canadian horse racing?